Hello Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 15 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay in the last two weeks. In addition to this awesome list, as always, I've included some bonus listings at the end as well. Definitely a great mix of cards. You don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. All right, starting things off in the 15th spot from 1994 Skybox Emotion. We have the Michael Jordan Intense Insert Grade, the Gem and PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $715. It's a pop of 426 in the Gem Mint Slab. The Intense Inserts were inserted at a rate of 1 in 18 packs. And boxes of 1994 Skybox Emotion sell for around $350 to $400. In the 14th spot from 1994 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, we have Michael Jordan card number 240, gold signature parallel, in raw condition. It was a fixed price sale for $725. This card can be found in Series 2 boxes in the gold signature parallels, runs for 1 in 36 packs. A near mint mint PSA 8 sold for over $500 in July, and a PSA 9 sold for $960 in May. Boxes of 1994 Collector's Choice Series 2 sell for around 80 to 130 bucks. In the 13th spot from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan graded Gem in PSA 10. This car sold auction for $840. And a Gem in Slab, it's a pop of 1109 And boxes of 89 Fleer sell for around 450 to 600 bucks. In the number 12 spot from 1995 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Major Attractions with Charlie Sheen Electric Court Gold Parallel graded Gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,023. In a Gem in Slab, it's a low pop of only four. This card, be, this card can be found in Series 2 boxes, and the Electric Court Gold Parallels are inserted one in 27 packs. Boxes of 1995 Epidex Series 2 sell for around $200 to $300. In the 11th spot from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan Beam Team Insert graded Gem in BGS 9.5. That was a fixed price sale for $1,200. And a Gem in Slab, Gem in BGS Slab, it's a pop of 172 and subgrades were 9.5 for centering edges and surface and a 9 for corners. The beam team inserts are inserted into series 2 boxes at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And boxes of 92 Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around 220 to 275 bucks. And the number 10 spot from 1992 tops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card Gold Parallel graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,250. And a gem mint slab, it's a pop of $695. And the gold parallels were inserted one per pack. And the Shaq rookie card can be found in Series 2 boxes. Boxes of 92 top Series 2 sell for around $140 to $180. And the number 9 spot from 1993 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan Triple Double First Day Issue Parallel graded to Gem in BGS 9.5 and it sold at auction for $1,375. And the Gem in BGS Slab, it's a pop of 19. There's none graded higher. Subgrades were 10 for centering, 9.5s for corners, edges, and surface. It's a Gem in PSA 10 pop of only 22. And the first day issue parallels were inserted in both series at a rate of 1 in 24 packs. And Tops announced that they were limited to only 1,000 each. Boxes of 1993 Top Stadium Club Series 1 sell for around $75 to $115. And the number 8 spot from 1989 Fleer. We have a Michael Jordan All Star sticker graded gem in BGS 9.5 and it sold at auction for $1,406. It's a pop of 33 in the Gem Mint BGS Lab, and there's one higher graded pristine 10. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners, edges, and surface. The All-Star stickers were inserted one per pack, and boxes of 1989 Fleer sell for around $450 to $600. 
And the number seven spot from 1993 Tops Finest. We have a Michael Jordan Refractor Grade in Mint BGS 9 and sold at auction for $1,600. In the Mint BGS Slab, it's a pop of 120. And there are 38 graded higher, with the highest being one pristine 10. Subgrades were 9.5 for corners and edges, 9 for centering, and 8.5 for surface. So this one here has been on the excluded cess list for a while because boxes were selling way over a thousand bucks. However, recent box sales, as you can see here from my screenshot of Terra Peak, have been under a thousand bucks, 650 to 900 dollars or so. Now, if you follow the link in the description below, that's an eBay affiliate link that takes you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes in the top 15 plus ones from our previous videos. However, you'll probably see that a lot of these are listed still for over $1,000, but when you look at the completed sales, like I'm showing you here, you can see that, especially the ones at auction, sell them for 650 to 800 bucks or so. So it gives you an idea on potentially what would be a good offer for some of the ones that are listed quite high, and who knows, maybe they'll sell, maybe they won't. Or you keep an eye out for hopefully one that goes up for auction, and then the market will decide what they go for. And the number six spot from 1995 Topps Gallery, we have a Michael Jordan Expressionist insert graded gem in BGS 9.5 and it sold at auction for $1,624.99. And a gem in BGS slab, it's a pop one with none graded higher. Subgrades are 9.5 for centering edges and surface and a nine for corners. The gem in PSA 10 pop is super low as well, so only eight of them. So the Expressionists were inserted 1 in 24 packs in boxes of 1995 Topps Gallery sell for around $200 to $300. This is a new one to the top 15 list as well, so I've added that to the eBay affiliate links below if, you want, if you're interested in looking into those any further. In the number 5 spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra with a Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded in Mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $1,900. It's a pop at 271 in a Mint Slab and there are 97 higher graded Gem Mint 10s. The Scoring Kings inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs that were rated 1 in 36 packs. And those boxes of 1993 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $340 to $425. In the number four spot from 1992 Upper Deck, we have Shaquille O'Neal's rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $2,050. And a gem in slab, it's a pop of 337. And boxes of 1992 Upper Deck High Series sell for around $180 to $240. All right, time to see what we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 and save 10% on your order. In the third spot from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have Shaquille O'Neal's Rookie Year Beam Team Insert graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $3,250. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of 117. And the Beam Team Inserts were inserted into Series 2 boxes at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And those boxes have recently sold for around $220 to $275. In the number two spot from 1994 Tops Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor with Coating, graded to gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $3,950. And a gem in slab, it's a pop of 147. And the refractors are inserted one in 12 packs. Jordan can be found in Series 2 boxes, and those boxes of 94 Finest Series 2 sell for around 450 to 600 bucks. And topping the list in the number one spot from 1995 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Gold Medallion graded gem in PSA 10. This color card sold at auction for $4,250. The gold medallion parallels were inserted one per pack, and this card here in a gem mint slab is a pop of only 25. Boxes of 95 Ultra sell for around 250 to 280 dollars. 
All right, that's it for the top 15. Let me know in the comments below which one of these in this top 15 list would you want to add to your PC? Which one was your favorite? Also, while you're at it, please take a second to hit that like button. All right, time to take a quick look at our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index for the week. We are up a bit, up off our lows. We're up to 64. S&P 500 was up this week. NASDAQ down a bit. And Bitcoin was up this week as well, 39.9. The basketball index made up of 50 cards spanning from 1989 all the way up to 1996. Here's a list of those cards right here. Lots of Hall of Famers, superstars, and rookie cards in there. All right, let's see how the basketball index compares to the other three major sports indexes that we track. Baseball is in the lead right now, 86.6. Hockey, well, football right behind at 83. Hockey is at 77.7, setting a new low there. And as mentioned before, basketball is up to 64. I compile and I track all the values of these indexes using the features of the Market Movers X app. It's got some pretty awesome collections features that lets you input your collections and track them automatically, the values. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI in the first month of your subscription. It's only a buck. All right, let's get in some bonus cards. First up, from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Joe Dumars Scoring Kings insert, graded in mint, PSA 9. And it's sold at auction for $405. And a mint slab, it's a pop of 30, and there's only six higher graded gem in 10s. The Scoring Kings inserts are inserted into Series 1 packs, a rate of 1 in 36 packs. From 1993 Tops Finest, we have a Larry Bird Refractor in raw condition, sold at auction for $123.45. That's around the price of a PSA 7. And the Refractors for 93 Finest were inserted one in nine packs, or one in four 14 card jumble packs. From 1989 North Carolina Collegiate Collection, we have a Michael Jordan No Trademark Error, graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,100. And a gem in slab, it's a low pop of only two. So this No Trademark Error has a pop of only 26. There's only 26 graded with PSA. And if you can look on the front next to the little Tar Heel logo there should be a little r for registered trademark on near that logo but this one it's definitely missing from 1992 fleer we have the dominic wilkins autograph with the fleer stamp of authenticity in raw condition sold at auction for 52 dollars kind of hard to see the fleer stamp in some of these pictures so you got to really look but it is visible on this one some of them it's very hard to tell if it's there, but you got to make sure it's there to know that it's authentic and that it was pack pulled. From 1992 Upper Deck, we have an unredeemed Shaquille O'Neal rookie card trade card. Graded in near mint PSA 7 and sold at auction for $38. Uh, it's a pop of 77 and a near mint 7 slab. There are 158 graded higher, with the highest being 4 gem in 10s. So these are found in the low series boxes of 92 Upper Deck. And obviously, way, way expired. They expired in 1993, but there's still some collectability to them. From 1992 Upper Deck European, we have the Michael Jordan Award winner hologram. This is the European version, so it's numbered EB, and this is EB9, whereas the North American versions are numbered AW. Graded gem in PSA 10, it was a fixed price sale for $375. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of 103, and this exact card sold for $75 back in August of 2020. From 1995 Metal, we have the Reggie Miller Slick Silver Insert, graded mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for 30 bucks. It's a pop of 15 in a mint slab, and there's only nine higher graded gem mint 10s. The Slick Silver Inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs at a rate of 1 in 7 packs. From 1992 Skybox, we have the Magic Johnson, the Magic Never Ends Gold Foil, graded gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $87.56. It's a pop of 14 in a gem mint slab. So these were inserted into Series 1 packs, so you either got a Ma Magic Johnson or the David Robinson Special Card Gold Foil 
inserted one in 36 series one packs however there's also a silver foil version they were issued one per 7500 cases wow that is rare haven't seen one of those keep an eye out for those from 1993 Flair Ultra, we have the Shaquille O'Neal All-Rookie Team Second Year Insert Graded Gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $570. It's a pop of only 15 and a gem mint slab. The All-Rookie Team Inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs at a rate of 1 in 24 packs. And we're going to stick with 1993 Ultra this time for another All-Rookie Team, but this is Tom Gugliotta. However, you got the Michael Jordan cameo on there as well. Graded gem at BGS 9.5 and it sold at auction for $99. It's a pop of five in a gem in BGS slab. And there's none graded higher. There's in the gem in PSA 10, it's a pop of only three. So there's lots of base cars out there with Jordan cameos that have some collectability, but it's pretty rare to see an insert with Jordan button his way onto the card. And as mentioned with the Shaq, these are inserted into Series 1 packs, so a rate of 1 in 24 packs. From 1994 Skybox Premium, we have the Penny Hardaway Center Stage Insert, graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $432.99. And a gem in slab, this is a Pop 1, and that's the first sale on record for this card. The Center Stage Inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs, at a rate of 1 in 72 packs. From 1993 Classic 4 Sport Gold, we have Alonzo Morning Autograph Card numbered at 3900, graded in Mint BGS 9 with a, with a 10 grade for the auto. This card sold at auction for $61. It's a pop of 7 in a Mint BGS slab. There's 3 higher graded Gem Mint 9.5s. From 1990 NBA Hoops Sears Superstars, this was a 100 card specialty Sears box set we have Akeem Olajuwon graded a pristine SGC gold doesn't have the gold label however if you sent this in and got it reholdered it would come back as a pristine gold label and it sold at auction for $57 in a pristine slab it's a pop of only two from 1991 hoops we have the Larry Bird Larry Bird video card graded gem in PSA 10 sold at auction for $45 it's a pop of only 13 and a gem mint slab. The standard size card was enclosed in a cellophane wrapper and included as an insert with the Larry Bird Basketball Legend VHS videotape. From 1994 Fleer Ultra, we have the Carl Malone Power in the Key insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $132.50. and a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only 8 and this exact card sold for $103 just a few months ago. Power in the key inserts for 94 are inserted into second series packs at a rate of 1 in 7 packs. So a little more common than the 93 versions, which were 1 in 37 packs. From 1994 Fleer, we have Shaquille O'Neal Young Lions insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $151.99. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 13, and the Young Lions inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 5 packs. From 1993 tops, we have a Chris Weber Black Gold Rookie Card graded gem mint CSG 10 and sold at auction for $52. It's a pop 1 in a gem mint CSG slab. Over at PSA, it's a gem mint PSA 10 pop of only 27, so super low pop. I gotta say these black golds look pretty nice in the CSG holder. Uh, the PSA 10s typically sell for around 70 to 100 bucks, and these black gold inserts were inserted into packs at a rate of one in 72 packs or one in 18 jumbo packs. From 1995 metal, we have the Kevin Garnett Tempered Steel Rookie Card graded to mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $31. In a mint slab, it's a pop of 80, and there's only 15 higher graded gem mint 10s. The tempered steel inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 12 packs. From 1993 Ultra, we have the Larry Johnson Famous Nicknames LJ graded gem mint PSA 10, sold at auction for $91.74. 
and a gem and slab it's a pop of only five and the famous nicknames inserts were inserted into second series packs at a rate of one in five packs from 1993 Upper Deck Adventures in Toon World, we have the Bugs Bunny Harrows with Michael Jordan, Joe Montana, Reggie Jackson, and Wayne Gretzky. And obviously Bugs Bunny graded gem in BGS 9.5 and sold at auction for $67.87. And a gem in BGS Lab, it's a pop of three and there's none graded higher. Subgrades were 9.5s for centering corners, edges, and surface. It's a gem in PSA 10 pop of only seven, so super low pop. One of those PSA 10 sold for $480 last December. From 1995 Fleer Jam Session, we have the Michael Jordan Showstoppers graded in near mint mint PSA 8 and it sold at auction for $202.55. These ones here are tough grades. It's a pop of only 28 in a PSA 8 slab, and there's only 14 graded higher, with the highest being 9 gem and 10s. The showstoppers were inserted into hobby packs at a rate of 1 in 48 packs. From 1994 Skybox Team USA, we have the Sean Kemp autograph insert, graded, uh, well, it's authenticated by PSA, with a 9 grade for the auto. That was a fixed price sale for $500. It's a pop of 4. As a PSA authentic, and there's one higher graded mint nine. The autographs in 1994 Skybox USA were inserted two per case. And we're gonna finish it up with something pretty neat here. This is a 1989 CBS Fox cloth promo for Come Fly With Me video. And you get an actual VHS copy of the video as well, graded at BGS near mint mint plus 8.5, and it was a fixed price sale for $750. So the card had subgrades of 9.5 for centering, 9 for surface, 8.5 for corners, and an 8 for edges. And as you can see, the VHS case is in pretty rough shape. It was definitely watched a few times. But it's kind of neat to have the card or the promo card as well, plus the VHS. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app. And you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.